Hey guys, welcome back! Today I will show you how to quickly paint an environment from start to finish. And also, we'll break down what I think is the most important step when you start a painting – the composition planning stage. I will talk about some ideas and principles I used. Stay tuned, because by the end of the video we'll have a nice little sketch ready. My name is Viktor, I'm a professional concept artist, and I really hope you'll enjoy this tutorial. If you do, please consider liking and subscribing, also don't hesitate to ask any questions about the process. Alright, let's start! I prefer to start the painting with a simple sketch. Really quick, nothing fancy. I'm indicating the horizon line and the main elements. So at this stage you should be thinking what you want to illustrate and how to arrange it in a nice, appealing way. By the way, another cool thing is that I've put a link in the description with some of my most used Photoshop brushes. It's free of course, so have a look, use them, experiment and let me know what you think. You can also transfer them to Procreate on iPads, for example. Ok, now I wanted to talk about the composition and explain you a couple of things. I urge not to skip this part, because it's very important, especially for beginners. So, this should be our focal point, right? And we have a couple of things I noticed right away. There is this strong line, if we connect the tips of the rock formation, and also the same rock formation kind of creates a triangle as well, which is a strong compositional shape. Another thing I wanted to have is some sort of strong directional shape that is going to lead the viewer's eye towards our focal point, uh, maybe create some S-curve, for example, as you can see here. Now I would create a two-tone value sketch to see what kind of shapes I can have in the end and also establish the light. Alright, this is what we have so far, so let's just add some cast shadow in the middle and also some darker values on the left, this will also help us close up the composition. Alright, now that we have our composition, we can continue with some flat color, block in all the elements and work on the sky. Ok, right now I am referring back to my comp sketch from earlier and creating the same shadow shapes as you guys saw before, also trying to get a nice relationship between them. Let's do this and then talk about the next step. Alright, now let's define the planes better, add some textural information and more details, and also keep working on adjusting some of the shapes, still trying to maintain that graphic look that's really important to keep the image readable. Starting to define the ground, as well as adding some grass.
Okay, I'm finishing with the grass and now I'm trying to add some highlights, some light values to the far mountains. Okay, we are done with that, so the next step would be to make sure that your forms are indicated correctly.
All right, so this is the final image. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Please consider subscribing and sharing for more videos like this. Also, ask any questions about the process in the comments. Thanks again for joining in, and I hope to see you in the next video. Coming soon.